Blessed Easter, everybody. So I have one word for you today, and that one word is hope. It's so simple. Hope. You and I need to have hope, especially when it's difficult. We have to persevere in hope. And I had this realization when I woke up this morning that I have been placing my hope in earthly things, in expectations and certain security I wanted to have. And I could see that I couldn't place hope in that. So I really spent this morning praying with that question, what exactly is hope? And I was up early enough where I could watch the sunrise while I was doing this. And it was glorious. I realize the sun's not out right now, but I know that it's there. So the sun rises and sets every day, somewhere in the world, at every moment. That's like a constant. And an even greater constant than that is I had the awareness that Jesus Christ, who is the sun, he's a constant for us every day, everywhere in the world, at every moment. In fact, one of my favorite lines in the mass is something that the priest says in the Eucharistic prayer. What he says is this, God never ceases to gather a people to himself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice can be offered to his name. And here's why I find that line so comforting, that God gathers us to himself. He loves us that way, that he wants to gather us to himself so that from the rising of the sun, meaning from every moment of our lives, in the morning, in the evening, no matter where in the world, no matter the time, no matter the decade, no matter the age, no matter the trial or the suffering, no matter from the rising of the sun to its setting, that pure sacrifice has been offered for us. And the sacrifice was Jesus. Jesus is our hope. So everything that we put our hope in in this life, we now are called to center on Jesus. St. Paul says in the book of Hebrews, actually in the letter to the Hebrews, he says that hope is the anchor of the soul. And so you and I can trust that that anchor is Jesus Christ. That when the Son of God came, he came to open heaven for us, to defeat death, to take away our sins, to be that purity that we need in our lives to see the things of heaven. And you and I need to see with the eyes of heaven in these days. That is our hope. God is so near, he has not left us. In fact, Jesus in a few weeks is going to ascend again to the Father and we will celebrate that together. And we can expect him to send forth his spirit. And with the spirit of God comes peace and gentleness and patience and kindness. And we have to open our hearts to receive it. So if you are struggling with hope today, I want you to make a simple prayer. Jesus, be my hope. And then look for the blessings. Look for the way that Jesus reveals to you with the eyes of heaven, the blessing that he has poured out in your life because he came to do that. In him is our hope. So with that, my brothers and sisters, know that I will continue to pray for you. Please pray for me. And let us all hope in the Lord for Jesus Christ. He is our hope.